I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from the previous test papers and I hope they will help you to get excellent marks. So here is a question on trigonometric equation. The question is solve 4 sin x minus 5 sin x cos x equals to 0. Uh, let me add uh, the domain for this where x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equals to 2 pi. So in this case we will solve it in radius right and let me add uh, something more to this and that is round your answer to we'll say around to two decimal places right two decimal places right so that is how we are going to change this question now okay so we have this equation 4 sin x minus 5 sin x cosine x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi you need to solve this equation round your answer to two decimal places correct so you can pause the video do the solution then check with mine okay now to solve such an equation factoring is a good technique 4 sin x minus 5 sin x cosine x sin x is common so let me factor this or let me first rewrite the questions 4 sin x minus 5 sin x cos x equals to 0 so I'll factor sin x once I factor sin x I get 4 minus 5 cos x equals to 0 now these are the two factors when multiplied will give us 0 it really means that we have uh, two sets of combinations one could be sin x equals to 0 the other one could be 4 minus 5 cos x equals to 0. Sin x equals to 0 gives you how many solutions? Well, sin x equals to 0 gives you within this domain of 0 to 2 pi will give you 3 solutions. Let me sketch sin x and show you. It's very important at this stage when you're going for the test to see how to get all the possible solutions. So these are the 3 zeros for sin x. They're at 0 pi and 2 pi, right? But I changed the question. I wrote round to two decimal places. So don't write just pi, right? You have to write round the value to two decimal places. So I'm leaving it for now here. Let's continue further. So you can pause the video, write down your answer, and then check with my solution. Okay. Now here, let's rearrange, find what cos x is equals to. So what we get here is 5 cos x is equals to 4. And so we have cos x equals to 4 over 5. Now how many solutions will that have? Now this thing should have uh, two solutions, right? So this thing should have two solutions. So should I squeeze it in here? Okay, I should not, but let me do it now. So two solutions since we know the cost rule, right? So cos x is positive, two solutions could be one in quadrant one, the other one in quadrant two. You get the point, right? So, so we are expecting two from here, right? So, let me use the right half of the page and redo, I mean rewrite what I wrote here. So, we are looking for a couple of solutions, one for sine x equals to zero, the other one we are looking for cos x equals to four over five, right? And we have already figured out the solutions for sine x equals to zero, we say x is equals to 0 pi or 2 pi in this domain, right? And for cos x equals to 4 over 5, we know it is two angles. One is this angle and the other one is this much, correct? So we need to find the acute angle. So let's find this acute angle first and let me call this alpha. So I'll say alpha equals to cos inverse of 4 over 5. Let's find how much that is. So let's use calculator and uh, yeah calculator should be in in radians so we'll do mode and change it to radians which is 4 so it's radians and now we do cos inverse of 4 divided by 5 and that gives us a value of uh, 0 0.6435 and let's round this to two decimal places 0 0.64 that is the first answer as you can see here, alpha, the other answer is 
2 pi minus alpha. So the other answer is 2 pi minus alpha. Uh, that will be this value, right? When it is in quadrant 4. Perf perfect, right? So how much is 2 pi? So x value of 2 pi minus alpha. So we'll do 2 pi minus 6.64. So we do 2 shift pi. Now we get 2 pi minus 0.64 is equal to, uh, we get this equals to 5.643. I'm rounding it to two decimal places, 5.64, right? So let us also see what is the value of pi, right? So uh, the pi value, as you know, approximately 3.14. So let's say 3.14, right? So let's write this pi round to two decimal places. So here, what do we get values of x? Zero. Rounding to two decimal places, I should write 0, 0.00. Pi value, I should write as 3.14, right? When I multiply this by 2, I get 6.28. So I, the other way is 6.28. So these are the three x values which you get from the first part right so and here you get two different solutions these are your two solutions at this stage write down your answer very clearly if you really want full marks so we get answer as 0 0.00 3.14 6 6.28 and then we have 0 0.64 and then 5.64 right so I'm very serious about this because I've made this change two decimal places and I've also seen students missing on this part and losing 0.5 marks. I don't want you to lose 0.5 marks after doing all the things correctly, right? So make a note of this. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn the techniques of getting excellent marks. Thank you and all the best.